Hey there, and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. In today's tutorial, what we're going to be doing is a, it's an image that I downloaded from Pixabay, and it's an old fence, well an old fence post, just a, a small piece of it, with a bit of barbed wire going around it. And also what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing it in a grid method. Now the reason I want to use the grid is just another way of getting your image on paper and with everything sort of in the right proportion. So it takes a lot of the guesswork away. And the other thing too is that um, is we're not trying to get an exact replica of the image. Like I say, well, all we want to do is use the grid to just to put things in place. Now I'm going to put a, um, a post on, on my Facebook page of the, the grid in the image. So you can download that if you like. Um, that's on um, facebook.com forward slash Robbie Greer. But the main thing is, you know, I'd love you to join in. And the main thing is just to take your time. Don't get frustrated. Just enjoy it. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I love those comments. And um, subscribe. Okay, now this is the image we're going to be drawing. Now, you can get a, um, a grid... Um, where well you can upload your pic to or your image to Art Tutor, and um, they've got the um, they've got a grid there for you. There are other other ones as well. And for our particular A4 size, um, we want seven across and five down, and that is four uh, centimeters. So they're four centimeters apart each square. Um, now I'm going to show you in another video how to actually make your own grid which you can just use whenever you want it instead of having to upload because there was a time oh, about three weeks ago where we had no internet or well, it was a bit longer than that but it was lasted for two and a half weeks and we had no internet at all so um, I had to make my own grid <laughs> but anyway so the first thing we have to do is I say once you've got this done um, and downloaded you need to number it so you don't get um, you can't see that you number it one two three four seven and one two three four five that's so you know that two one is there and you know you don't it's easy to get lost when you're over here somewhere so having said that now that we know that we're going to be doing um, um, the four centimeters so you just go down and I'm not going to film all this but uh, I'm going to come in about 10 centimeters uh, 4 8 12 16 20 24 28 and then the same this way So it's 20, 20, yeah, just come in a little wee bit. So we've got 4, 8, 12, you see that all right? 16, 20. And then you can either use your, um, one of these, mark it out. That's all I use. Or a T-square, if you've got a T-square. Just do it lightly because you get these get rubbed out. Alright. I think you get the general idea. Then we go across here. Up there. Alright. So each square is four centimeters square. Okay, now. So the first thing we're going to do is we just do we're just doing the the, um, the outline. Um, there you go. We're just going to do the outline. So we're going to do a line down here, which will be about there, and it sort of curves around a bit. Now we don't have to be too accurate about. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect because the only reason why we're using the grid as I say is, is, is not to try and get an exact 
likeness of the image that we want to do is just to help us to um, you know it's, it's just to help us to, to put in what we want to put in it's just a guideline you know um, so that things are in proportion and in the right sort of place it just makes it easier and takes a lot of the guesswork away all right so now we can see here the white barbed wire I'm just going to do um, I'm not going to do it all, all in detail I'm just going to do the barbed wire so we can see so that starts about there and you can see it sort of comes to around about halfway so we're going to go down here and and down there and that's sort of just under that line and there's a lot there'll be a lot of rubbing out so oh actually we can we can go out to that yes good yep that's the, out, that's the outline of the post. Now, here, we're sort of going to be, because a lot of this is in shadow. Now, the thing I find anyway is I don't want to, I don't want, I'm not going to put all the shadow in because I want to see as much of it as we can. You know, like for example here, that, that's all burnt when you look at the thing and, and over here. Well, I don't want it all burnt. I'm going to make it, you know, a bit more appealing. Now, right now, we're going to do the staple. So that's going to come, looks like about a third of the way. And it comes down here. And then it looks like it comes down to about here. And because it's in shadow, it is hard to, to know. But we'll, we'll, I, just want, I just want to get the, the, the outline in that. So I'm not too worried about any of that at the stage. And then in here. Like I say, there's going to be a lot of rubbing out. We're just, we're just putting down our line drawing. And we can't see what's going on here really at this stage, but we will. Alright, now that's a little bit more, a bit more rounded. Now, this wire here is going to come through. We'll just rub that out just so it's not so confusing because we know just rub the grid out there. Okay. Now I'm just using my HB um, pencil for this. So <laughs> you see my face on there. <laughs> Now, okay, all right, let's get back to what we're doing here. Yep. Now, this here, if we look, the bottom is going to be about halfway. Uh, roughly about halfway. So, that there, imaginary line through there. That look about right. Um, and then it's going to come up. That's the bottom one. About to about there. So I like to turn everything around so I can see what I'm doing. And so that line's going to come like that. We're just going to do one wire at a time. And I'm not using long strokes because... I'm just trying to keep everything, you know, in perspective. Yep. And then we're going to come 
Okay, it's about there. So we're going to come down like this. So we can see here. So that's there, and there, and then it's going to come down. So we're in six. Three, you can't see that, but it's six, three, three, six. So we're looking on here, six, three. So six, three. Oh, hang on, we'll go to six, we'll go to five, three. We're not up to six, three yet. Five, three, three, five. And that comes going to come through, that's going to, yeah. We're on this top wire, so that's just around the halfway. Like I say, we're not trying to get it exactly like a photo, and then we're going through a photo image, but that's not what we're after. And that's going to come through to about there, roughly, approximately. So that's the first wire. All right. Now the second wire which is this one here, is coming now. It's going to be, we look on here, bring that down a bit, we look on here, we've got, that's about halfway, so we're in two, three, and we're about halfway. That's where the, the um, The barb, the barbers. Right, so, and we're going to come up to around about there. So that comes down here like this. It's like a little hook going on in there. And like that. Just taking our time. In no hurry. And then that sort of, yep, it comes around like that too. So that for that there is going to come around. Okay, take that out. Now this is take. This is going to take too long to do everything on camera. You know, I mean. So we're going to have to do quite a bit of this um, off camera, but I'm going to show you as we go, you know, because I want you to do it and I want you to take your time. Now in here, we've got the wire that's, that's what makes up this um, barb here. It's like this one here, it's, it sort of comes around and up. See how they, they must have a machine that does it all. So we're just below that line there, that grid line there. And we're going to come around here like that, and then sort of like that, and then like that. Maybe just a little bit more. All right. Now we can see here that. The barb here is going to come just, just about onto that line, that grid there. All right, and it, it's quite a thick piece of wire that. And remember, we're, all we're trying to do at this stage is just um, get everything in the right proportion. And this is this, this this takes time, you know. It's just one of these things you just can't rush. You just got to take your time and work away. And if you're not happy with that? I oh, will just rub it out and and and, and um, try something else, you know. By that I mean um, don't give up on it. Now here it would appear. 
that's where it's going to cross over. So we're about just under halfway. So we want this wire here to come like that. And then it's going to come, that's the bottom, bottom half of the wire. It's going to come down like that. And then it's coming right there. And it's, once again, it's in shadow, so it's a bit hard to sort of tell, but. And look, it just comes up here, through here, just under the grid mark there. Okay, so what I did, I just did a little bit off camera, just to, um, to tighten things up, tidy it up and tighten it up a little bit. Just to get that barbed wire in there. Just, it's just a rough outline. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start in square one and we're just going to go in and you can see like in here there's a dark area so we're going to just go in and we'll do that. Remember this is the outline here. Uh, so it comes sort of like Uh, a little of that. And we're always going to be erasing here and there because because um, we want to try and get it as close as we can. But like I keep saying, we're not trying to do an exact replica of um, our reference photo. We won't get it close, of course we do. So I'm just going to go in here, I'm just using my HP. And it's sort of like a, a shield type thing going on here. It goes like this, like that, a bit of a bump. And that goes there. And then over here, we've got... And that, that comes down here. And then up here... Yes. Keep it. I'm keeping my pencil fairly much on its side. And we're just going down. It's a bit like a, an ear coming down here. And you'll see different shapes like that in your drawing. Remind you, you know, of could be anything. Um, remind you of the uh, parts of the anatomy, or 
Yeah, sometimes you see little bird faces and Oh, what have we got happening there? A little bit of a green. Yep, now we're going to take that out. When you're doing your grid lines, it pays to do them um, fairly light and with a uh, with a um, a softer pencil, so that it's, it's easy to erase. Now it would appear, coming down here, we've got, it's quite dark. So we're going to come right down to here. And what we're, if we're looking at this, it sort of comes, and then it's, and then we've got a sort of a, I don't know. hook like shape and then there's a, a dot there so this here is in shade and it goes at least to the line so I'll keep, once again I'm keeping my pencil flat and yet that's how you get a, um, a texture you get the texture like It's not just a flat. Surface. Obviously that's not what we're after. Um, and then over here we've got. This here. Coming down. It's sort of like the sort of like a fish hook type thing going on here. Like that. And then that goes up. And there's a bit of a and then there. That sort of comes down like that. And we'll take that little bit out, a little bit here. We're only just trying to um, put these little shapes in here, and then that's sort of like that, and then. Get them in here. Take that line out. And don't forget, like I've said in the past, don't just rub that line out like that because when you do, when you go over it with shade, uh, to shade it in the graphite, you'll get a line, even though you've rubbed that out. Well, that's what causes it. So. We just come in here. Remember, we're just doing we're just doing the the outline. You know, we're just putting in bits, and and then we're going to come back over it and do the detail. And once again, I'm not going to we're not going to be doing all of this on film because it's pretty much all the same. I mean, obviously we've got darker bits here and, and down here, but here, now I want to come, this over here, now this is, looks like a shadow of the wire or something, so we'll just, 
because if you look along here that's a shadow there's the wire there what two there's two two wires and then all that's under here is a shadow so there must be a light coming um, from this angle you know coming across because there's nothing on the top it's all underneath and that's fine So that sort of comes down, down to here, and it's in that corner, so yep, and then, like that, and over here the shadow is like this, um, and like that, I just want to get it so we know where we're at. And then it sort of just follows, follows this around. Now I can see this more clearer on the um, on the picture on my screen. And and what I would suggest is you, is you print that out as well. I always print out a lighter one. Um, I haven't today, but I normally I would. Okay. Now here, we've got this coming down here, and it's pretty close to here. And that comes right down to there. And it comes over like that. And then we've got uh, there. And we've got another sort of a, no, it's not like this, it's, it's more gradual. It's like a nice soft shape. And it goes down there like that. And then off here, we've got, and that sort of comes down to here. And then if we look here, Um, yep, yeah. like that, and that's going away up here. So we've just got these long, yeah, sort of um, so that's sort of shaded in here. more so than on this side but over here we've got sort of like another indentation going on in there and there and that's shaded um, as is in here uh, If you haven't got one of these yet, get one. Go and check it out at your um, local art supply. Or just go on eBay or Amazon, one of them. It just makes life so much easier. bit of darkness going on here, a bit of a loop going on here, a bit more there, and then we're just going to go I really want that to be a bit more curved, so we'll just, it's more of a, yeah, it's, a, it's a sort of a softer, gentler, gradual curve, but then it's quite dark in there too. I 
and that one there is the same, it's a little bit more So what I'm really just trying to show is that we're just this is how we go about it. There's a lot of rub in there and we have a lot of it's just doing the ground, the preliminary, just the the um the line drawing. Now we look in here now it's even here, see there's a bit coming down here. And that comes just on the line there. And there's a bit going down here. This is just a thing where you just take your time. Just take your time and, and just slowly work away and you'll get it you'll get it guaranteed and that's quite dark and here and there and in here but it's very dark there so I might just use uh, my 3b just a sort of there you can see where it is a little bit darker there and just look and that's it right there same down here we've got even though it's it's not too dark but we just need a different kind of um, darkness you know a different kind of shade Same here. We don't want to go in there just yet. I'm just the difference between just using a um, an HB and a 3B. It is quite a lot. It is you know, really dark in there. Okay, and of course in here. All these and here They're like little intricate designs, you know, and that's just the grain of the wood. And of course, we're going to be taking it out as well. Rusty barbed wire is quite pitted. Now when they come down here we're in three now and that's when they come down down here. Rub this out. Now on here it's 
Vidaka. And then we've got sort of got a piece coming down here. going on out there. Someone's obviously using a weed eater or something, making a lot of noise. So now we've got another line coming down here. I've sort of stayed with my three, three B. Um, we've got a, uh, and we've got another, another little dark line coming down here, down. But that, oh, well it does. Yeah, it does go all the way, but it sort of comes off the. Line there, and then we've got another one. Yeah. Mm, got a bit of a arrow type shape here. Just take these lines out. Doesn't matter about these lines when it's dark, but we do have to take them out. Um, we want a lighter texture, where you know, so. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to just um, just go over some of these areas like this, uh, and we've got darker shapes. But if you look there, over here. And you find these on wood, you know, like is that what, that's what makes it old and interesting, you know? Well, because it's old, it makes it really interesting. Where it's um, it's just probably been outside for so long and. The, and, it, and it's contracted and it's um, cracked and it's split in different places. They don't, you don't very rarely you see anything that's, that's had any rot in it. So now I'm just going to use my blending brush and just go over this gently. Um, when you see any rot or anything like that, it just, they just seem to get all brittle and... And bits just break away more so than, as I say, than the rot. It is very, very hard timber though. Very hard. 
and it's very rare also to see um, staples and they usually got holes in them well mind you I'm only assuming that um, it's a hard wood it's a bit hard to tell okay now next what I'm going to have a go at doing now and then I'm going to do some off camera just to speed it up a bit because you had to get the general idea we've got we've got the, our, our outline we've got our layout so now we're going to be doing you know the actual post so I just want to go in now and just do um, just a little bit of this barbed wire in here and there and then as I say I'm going to do a little bit off camera so holding the pencil on its side what we really want to try and get here is if you look closely you see how um, the, the wire is, is pitted that's how old it is now I'm pretty sure um, you should be able to see that but I might just give it a little zoom just to bring it in and you'll see how there's little dots in that now we don't have to put all that in you know and, and, and once again it depends on how how realistic we want it to be you know yeah but we can do it well you know we can uh, certainly look at doing making it look a bit more like that and it's, a, it's, a, it's just a process now I'm using once again I'm using um, I'm going to be using my HB um, and on, on there I used my Um, 3B, now I'm using my HB. Now it's, it's quite dark in here obviously, where the wires are twisted around each other. And then there. Now How we sort of make this look a bit more rounded is what we put that in like that and then we go in with our pencil eraser or our Tombow, whichever, and we just take a little bit out. Okay. Just sort of through the middle there. But that's not, it. and then I'm going to uh, blend it over. Just a little circular little circular uh, pencil strokes but not in a continuous thing I'm, I'm lifting them I'm trying to create that pitted look and it's a little bit darker on there just so it gives it the See, and, and that's all we to just slowly go back in with the brush, blending brush, and just blend that over. Now, of course, it's got to be darker. It's going to be darker in here. It's like, you know, it'll be in shade a bit, so. And we want the wire to stand out from the actual post. I'm going to use a bit of a needle bull eraser, just squash it up a bit, and we're just going to go through here again. Just taking a bit out, just gently. And 
and then we'll blend that over again. Let's use my blending stump just to okay. Now I want to take a little bit of Sort of like overspill just there where I've gone over the edge. I want to take that off. Yeah, just tidy it up. And the same here. That's quite. Um, it's quite dark. Yeah, actually, that might just might just leave that in there because it's there's quite a shadow. When the more I look at it now, and that's because that's there, is that wire, and that's going up and then down here. Hey, just slowly working away. Now I'm going to get. Um, Go back to and this with my three B. And on its side just come down slowly. That's the barb there. And it's quite dark. Um, I'm going to make that line a bit more prominent because it's, it's more like that and because it, it's quite dark on the wood bit around there so although we don't want to see lines like that line we don't want to see that However, and, and, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up to the same darkness, the same tone in that area. But we need to be able to see that it stands away out from the actual the post itself. Now I'm going to do the the staple. And because the staple is going around this way, I'm going to go this way. Just strokes like this. Just take your time. Slow it down. I seem to you know find that if you go with the way the shapes of things are, it makes it a bit easier to get, well for me anyway, to get the desired effect that I'm after, which is I want this to look like a round um, staple, which it is. Just lightly, I'm just going over everything very lightly. It's very dark down here. It's 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 sort of really in shade here, and the actual texture that we can see would be sort of in this bit here. And you see here, it's, it's, it's out of it's not out of picture, but it is very dark. And even on my um, computer image, which I've really made really light. You can see even that's very dark in there, and I, as I was saying before, I think it's to do with the shade, the you know the light source coming directly from the right, slightly above. So this here, I'm just gonna 
just darken it up a bit because that's the shade over here as well. And it sort of just comes down here, and which is casting that shadow. Okay, now, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come in here and just come this way now. Just going to try and go with the shape, the roundness of the of the staple. And the old, old bits of wire, bits of barbed wire, and some very old staple so it has been pitted I don't really like to go much darker than a 3B if I'm doing really dark gaps I'll go I'll go darker but I try to avoid that grainy, the real grainy effect that you can get. Personally, I do anyway. And then some some grades of pencil. Um, they're not so bad. It must be, yeah, they're obviously made up with some. Yeah, it's actually a bit wider there. That they're obviously put together, you know, differently. So we've got that there is dark. I'm using the tip of my pencil just to darken that in there, and to bring that bottom barb there. Now I'm just going to use my blending stump, come in here, in here, okay, alright, well that's going to do, well, I'm going to speed it up a bit, I'll do a little bit off camera. You've got the idea. This is what we're trying to do. Okay? Okay. So off camera, what, have, what, what we've done is, what I've done is I've, I've done the, the wire and that staple and I've put in where we're going to have um, how the grain and how the, the, um, the structure of the actual post. So I've just put these in, penciled them in, this is an underdrawing and um, there's still quite a bit to do as far as um, getting them nice and um, uh, what's the word, just getting them nice and, and, and um, post like for want of a better word, you know there's a lot to do but this is just the underdrawing um, now where it's really dark like in here and over here, well, that looks like it's been burnt. That's what it appears to be to me. So instead of actually doing just a black, burnt charcoal look, uh, I'm going to make it a bit lighter. And and if you look here, it's sort of like I don't know little spirals and circles, and I don't know what they are. But so what I've done over here to try and create that sort of image is just done this little spirals on here as well and I'll show you how we did that but in the meantime I'll, what I want to do now is just get um, this area here mainly done and then we'll come back and um, slow it down to have a look at getting all this bit in here all this texture here 
Okay, so that's where we're at for now. Okay, so this is what we're, well, where we're at at the moment. Now, uh, I have to speed it up because it would take this drawing to get it exactly, you know, as the um, grid, um, the grid image. Um, we're using a, you know, well, we're using a grid and we're using a reference photo. Now, to get this exactly, each each individual grid, you know. Um, it, would, it would take uh, 10, 20 hours, you know, to actually get it exactly like that. So that's why I don't use the grid to do it exactly. Not not for um, the tutorials. It's just to show you how um, how we can do it. You know, to get something that's very similar to um, this image. So it's by no means exact, and, I, and I'm not trying to get it exact. I just want to explain that's that's for a tutorial. You know, I can't, we can't sit there for ten hours. You know, but anyway, I'm quite pleased with where we're at. Now we're just going to go in here and just just tidy it up a little bit and put a bit more detail, um, and I'll just show you, like for example. There's places 
where we can um, like in here for example what I'm gonna do is I want to go in with my um, actually my Tombow and we're just gonna take bits out just a little bit little highlights you know and it's just a little um, just gently and it just makes it, it gives it a bit more depth a bit more uh, realistic now remember this in there in the actual photo the reference photo this is all burnt and and over here's the same but I don't want I don't, I don't want to see it what's the point I want to see I want to see um, something there rather than just a, a burnt out image now of course if it was a commission and that's what they wanted well then we'd do it but for the purpose of this exercise I just don't I can't justify that time because I don't think you're going to sit there and watch for that long even if you are if you have joined in so I'm just going through here like this and I'm just I'm just just going very lightly I'm not rubbing hard and what this does it creates it creates depth It creates dimension. And, and you've got to understand too that um, it's these little weird things that we're doing now that make up, you know, the big picture. And I'm, I'm just doing it random. There's not, there's no... Um, there's no rhyme or reason it's just where I feel um, it needs it now just here I want to just just tidy that up a bit this, this drawing lends itself beautifully to um inking it and I, I'm, I'm, I'm in two minds here I might this we might actually ink this but do it um, as another tutorial because I don't you know it's, it's, it'll take up quite a bit of time to do it properly um, so I'm seriously thinking that maybe we should do that I'm just going to go in here with me blending stick just to get those little Squiggles that I've done. Just to, just to smoothen them out a bit. And once again, this is another drawing where you can put as much into it as you want. You know, like I say, this is, I could spend 10, 20 hours doing this exactly detail. Now what I'm doing here, just by just doing this very lightly around here, it's creating the illusion that it's it's around, you know, it's dark here and then that sort of round. So it's it's the piece of wood here is split away and it's it's coming out across. You know, I, I can just see myself sitting there for hours working on this. I, I just love the feeling of the of the the pencil you know the the graphite on the paper I just love it and you know and when you actually do it you can't see a lot it's not until you stop 
and walk away and then come back that you'll you, you sort of see and you go oh wow and that's and that's it's, it's amazing I've never I've never ceased to be amazed by it it's just it's as if you know your 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 eyes and your brain and your and your hands have have worked it out they know what they're doing consciously you're not really aware of what you're doing but <laughs> everything else does the rest of your body knows because when you come back and there's times when you think you've really made a mess and you oh my goodness you really do and it's not until you have a look at it again that you realize that oh that's not too bad at all so never be in too much of a hurry to ah that's rubbish and you screw it up and throw it I've never ever that I can recall ever screwed anything up and ripped even though I thought oh, I was just crap oh, excuse my language but um, I've never and, and and then it's just strange how when you just come back and have another look and oh and it makes it all worthwhile And if you think that you've, you know, you're not happy with something, just rub it out straight away. Don't, don't um, keep going, and then, and then you go, ah, oh. just rub it out. But at the same time, before you rub it out, stop. Just stop. Walk away. Because quite often. It's nothing like how you sort of think, oh, and quite often it's not. There's nothing wrong with it. You might have gone off a line that you've got, you know, and you're thinking, oh, that's ruined it. But I'll guarantee you, nine times out of ten, it hasn't. I don't want to overdo this, but we're pretty close to it now. I think we're just about... Just about happy with this. Um, you can see a bit of a highlight going on there and there. And I've got the shadow, that's the shadow under here. So the light's obviously, like I was saying earlier, coming from the side and slightly above because the shadow's you know coming over like that. Now, you know, we could spend more time on it. But I think, for now, I think that'll do us. So I hope you joined in, and I hope you got something out of it. You know, look, even if you just do a little bit, just a little wee bit at a time, you don't have to rush it and do the whole thing. I don't do these um, drawings just so that you can, you know, oh yeah, let's go flat out, and because this, there's no point. This art's all about the journey, and I know I keep it going on about it, but it's about the journey, and it's about enjoying. Um, it's about st stepping back and looking and going, wow, did I do that? You know, and you're not going to get it right every time. It does not matter. It does not matter. It's how you feel at the end of it. It's what you've gained from doing it. So anyway, if you like, please give me a, a thumbs up. Um, and don't be, um, um, you know, don't be too um, shy or whatever to, to leave a comment because I do like reading the comments and I try to answer as many as I can. And um, you know, and maybe there's something you'd like to um, for me to draw. You know, just mention that. I don't mind at all. Okay, and it, and then if you really like it all and you do all that, just subscribe. I really appreciate it. All right then. Thank you and we'll see you in the next one.